So last time I was in the apocalypse, things didn't go very well, and everybody ended up dying. But, through the power of magic, I was able to go back in time and try to save everybody's lives once and for all. Well, it wasn't really magic, it was just the little reset button that I pressed in the bottom of the screen. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to 60 Seconds Reatomized. I played this game a couple weeks ago, and I had so much fun. You guys have helped me out a lot in the comments, so I decided to come back to the game and try to beat it once and for all. So let's go back to new game, let's go over to Apocalypse, and let's play with Ted again, and we're gonna go little boy again. Okay, so we're back in our house, and I think we have 60 seconds to collect as many things as we want and will our daughter stop playing the darn tuba? Okay, I'm just doing a little search around. The clock hasn't started yet. You know what? I'm not even gonna get our daughter. She's so fat and she ate so much soup last time that I think she's the reason we all died. So let me wait for the clock to start. When is it? The oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Grab it, Brandon. Water. Other water. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on, Ted. Have a little bit of a sense of urgency, my friend. Alright, let's grab our daughter. Not our daughter. We're gonna grab our wife, and we might as well get the soup there. Grab your wife. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, and this water while we're here. Stop bumping into things, and then let's find our little son, Timmy. Where's Timmy? Timmy! Oh, Timmy! Uh, I guess I'll get a little water while I'm here. I'm not doing a good job. I am not doing a good job. Where did Timmy go? Where in the name? Oh, there's Timmy. Oh my goodness. Wait, let's get this med kit. That looks like it could be helpful. And we're gonna have to grab Timmy, but we only have one inventory slot. Oh my goodness. Wait, is that Timmy? Oh yeah, that is Timmy. He's so tiny. All right, let's get the bug spray and then let's get the axe. Can we hold the axe? No, we can't. Go, Brandon. Go, Brandon. Oh my goodness. This is not going well. Let's get an axe. I think that was important last time. And is there anything else in this room that I need? I feel like I needed a map. Oh no, this is not going well. What about the gun? Let's get the gun. Go, Brandon. Get it. Get it. Did I throw- I think I, th I got the gun in time. I think I got the gun in time. Oh, no. I don't think I got enough food and water. I don't think that was a good 60 seconds, guys. Let me know in the comments, what are some of the important things that I need? I didn't get the radio either. Oh, no. Oh, no. I might have to reset this, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. So we didn't get our daughter. I feel so bad about that, but you know what? She ate so much food and water. So we just got Timmy, who's still fascinated with the flashlight. If you guys missed the last episode, go back and watch that one first. Timmy just loves that flashlight more than anything in the world. Also, if you guys want to see more of this game, smack that like button for me. Okay. So our buddy Ted, this is us, he's just not having a good time. Our wife looks very bored, and our son Timmy again is just staring at the flashlight. Okay, we're gonna try to make it farther than last time. I think last time I made it to day 19, so we're gonna try to make it to at least day 20, but I would love to survive. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. <laughs> Our poor daughter's just sitting up there eating everything she could find right now. I kind of feel bad about that, but not bad enough. All we can start to do now is to start thinking of creative ways to survive on canned soup. Okay, okay. So you guys told me feed them every fifth, no, every four days. I think it was every four days. Because I was giving them food every other day, but you guys said, no, no, no. They can survive every four days. So that's what I'm going to do to conserve a little bit of food. And we didn't get our daughter. I think her name was like Marianne or something like that. So that'll save a lot of food and water also. So far, so good. One minute it was all fine, and the next we're all at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We've literally been down here for five seconds, and they're already angry with each other. This is not gonna go well. All right, let's go to sleep and let's go to day two. Timmy is being very brave. Yep, he's very brave just staring at that red flashlight. You know what? I might start staring at flashlights for like hours at a time. Maybe Timmy, maybe Timmy's the normal one. Maybe all of us at home that don't stare at flashlights are really the weird ones. I'm starting to understand Timmy a little bit more. There isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. Is it the smell coming from the hole? It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? This seems like a bad idea. This seems like such a bad idea. Oh, but fine, let's do it. Let's find whatever the cause of the stench is and get rid of it. We might die. It might have been like some evil mutant bunny that's gonna kill us. Okay, everybody still seems alive. It didn't seem to kill us. 
Okay, we looked into the hole, fearing that something might come with claws and fangs other than a mutated shark body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into the can of soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be much luckier than him, so we confiscated it. Okay, look at that! Look at that, we actually got an extra can of soup out of it too! That's amazing, and we got rid of the smell. Okay, so it is day four, and it says Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. All right, so I'm gonna give Ted a drink. Uh, Dolores will not survive without water, and Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water. All right, so it seems like day four is kind of the day everybody needs water. So we're gonna give them water, and then maybe tomorrow I'll give them their first can of soup. Uh, but so far, I feel like things are going pretty well. All right, so it's day six, and I'm giving everybody their first can of soup. Could you guys imagine going six days without anything, and then after six days, all I give you is a measly can of soup? This would not be fun, but I guess it is an apocalypse, so you gotta deal with things. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans, but I haven't even fed them any soup! <laughs> Wait a silly second. I haven't given them one can of soup. How is the trash can filled with empty soup cans? That doesn't make any sense. The un unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely gl glowing and suspicious big insects with wildlife. Roaches weren't that big before. The wars were they? Okay, um... I guess we'll use bug spray. Although last time we used bug spray, our daughter became a mutant monster. But we also don't have our daughter down here, so maybe it only affects her. We're gonna use the bug spray and see how it goes. Hopefully nobody is a mutant. It's been about a week down here, and nobody's a mutant. Okay, so it looks like only our daughter is the one that's a mutant. You know what? I'm starting to think leaving our daughter up there to die is the right strategy, other than the fact that it's kind of immoral. Hey! Somebody started painting graffiti again! Is it you, Timmy? Oh, don't you act like you were staring at that flashlight last night. I know that was you that put that strange two-headed hamster. Oh, and now there's a fly down here, too. Oh, uh, things are not going well. Timmy is not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and try to cheer him up. Okay, I mean, this seems like a no-brainer, but in this game, things that are no-brainers are usually not. Like, I feel like me talking to him is probably going to end up something bad. Uh-oh. I didn't even think we had a phone down here. I didn't even think we had a phone down here, but apparently the phones can ring. Oh, ooh. our wife is starting to look a little raggedy, but that's okay. We still have the med kit, and I don't know what this key is, but okay. I guess that seems good. Will this darn fly go away? This darn fly is starting to get annoying. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's move. Timmy seems to be better now. That's fantastic, and nobody's thirsty. I feel like I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. It's only been eight days, but I feel like I'm doing a much better job than I did last time. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy, and he's doing just fine. Look at the focus on that man's eyes. I mean, I'm telling you, I said it last time. If that flashlight moves, or, or starts, you know, springing legs and coming alive, Timmy will be the first one to know and to alert everybody to watch out for that flashlight. I got an eye on it. I think that flashlight's gonna come alive by the end of this video. As we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock on the door came out of nowhere. It turned out that we were visited by a band of survivors who were, were in pretty bad shape. All they wanted was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least a clean bandage with medicine. Oh boy. Um, uh, I feel like if I don't do this, they're probably going to be mad at me. What do I have more of? Do I have more canned soup? I have more soup. So let's, you know what? We're going to be nice. We're going to give them canned soup because I feel like if I don't do anything, they're probably going to get angry and try to kill us. Although we do have the axe and a gun. So maybe we don't need to do anything. I'm going to give them a can of soup. I feel like we could spare one can of soup. Hopefully it'll pay dividends and it'll be better than if we didn't do anything. Our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. We survived the nuclear apocalypse only to be nearly strangled by thankful refugees. See, look at that. Oh, and they gave us a radio. They gave us a radio. See, sometimes, you know what, being generous and donating to the cause is worth it. We needed a radio badly because I was too dumb and I was too much of a son of a nutcracker to get it up in our house. Look at that. I'll give up a can of soup for a radio any day until we start starving. Do you hear that? It sounds like a herd of animals are stampeding just above our heads across what used to be our beautiful lawn. They're not going to get away with it. Really? 
We're back here again. We are in the apocalypse. We are stuck in an underground bunker because it's not safe up there. And you're worried about your freshly mowed lawn? Are you kidding me, Ted? Oh my goodness. Uh, it might be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Oh, okay. Never mind. I am convinced now. Who should go hunting? Uh, let's send, let's send Ted up there. You know what? Ted seems like a big, strong, burly man. He should be able to find us like some, some cattle or some caribou that we could eat. Although, how are we going to cook it? Ah, uh, you know what? Fine. We're going to send Ted upstairs. This might not go well. So now I have a feeling Ted's going to be gone. Was that the door opening and closing? Okay, is Ted gone? Wait, Ted's back? Ted's back. Did we get more food? We got three more cans of soup. Wait, what kind of live animals are those? We just had like, like little soups crawling around on our lawn. Is that how bad the apocalypse is? Even cans of soup have turned to become like alive animals. Or did the animals turn into canned soup? Uh-huh. Do you hear that? No? Because no one's talking. Not a word in hours. Not at all. <laughs> I love this game. It's such a funny game. The humor is like right up my alley. I think it's hilarious. Let's click the little radio button and try to get a little bit more information. Wow, Ted is not looking good. Ted's, Ted really looks like he needs to go see a hair cutter. Ted needs a barber ASAP. Day 19. So this is the day that everybody died last time. So look at that. I've officially made it farther than I did last time. And that's because of you guys. So thank you to everybody at home that commented last time. I'm loving this game, guys. I really hope you guys want to see more of this game. I'm, I just want to see how far I can make it. We're at day 19. I said my goal was day 20. But now I'm changing my goal. I want to go to like day 30 maybe. I don't know how far I want to go. Our situation doesn't really encourage going out and risking our necks for some strangers. At least not today. Maybe next Tuesday. Timmy should eat something. Timmy's no longer thirsty. Uh, nobody's thirsty anymore. T Timmy should eat something. I'll give him food tomorrow. We heard a knock on the door this morning and held our breaths in fear, but we soon heard children's voices coming from outside. We decided to open it up. It turned out to be the voices of belong to a pair of Girl Scouts. They used to sell just Girl Scout cookies, but they've branched out a little bit, and now they offer other items too. Smart girls. <laughs> So these girls used to just sell like Thin Mints and Rinky Dinks. I don't think Rinky Dinks are a Girl Scout cookie, but now they're actually selling like survival gear. So I can give, I could get a gas mask in place of a flashlight, or I could get a checkerboard in place of a med kit. What? What? No, that seems like a bad idea. And you know what? I'm going to ask Timmy because you know what? Having a gas mask could be helpful. Timmy, Timmy. If you think we should keep the flashlight instead of the gas mask, keep staring at the flashlight. Yep. No thanks, ladies. If come back, if you ever get Thin Mints again. Thank you so much. Oh, look at Timmy's hair. <laughs> so now Ted and Timmy really need to go to the barber sometime soon because it's getting ridiculous. Oh, no. Timmy's not looking at the flashlight anymore. This is the first time in the history of this game I've ever seen Timmy not looking at the flashlight. It's probably because he can't see over the, the his hair. Like, he probably thinks he's still looking at the flashlight. Now, what if the flashlight runs away? Now we're all in trouble. Oh, my goodness. You know what, Timmy? You're useless. No, the radio blew up. We were able to put it out, but it doesn't work anymore. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one-time deal for just one can of soup. We get to keep everything in his bag. We can't see what's inside until the trader takes our soup. I'm going to do it. We have a lot of soup anyway. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be like a bottle of water in there. Was that? Is there an animal in there? He gave us a darn cat. Are you kidding me? He gave us... I didn't want a cat. Well, I'm not feeding the cat. Um, well, but what if the cat dies now? Oh, oh well, what an annoying traitor. He took a can of soup and gave us a darn cat. <laughs> While we were asleep, Shakirov made quick work of those pesky spiders. I assume Shakirov is the name of the cat. So, you know what? That's fantastic. Look at that. So, that crazy guy that gave us his cat, he actually did us a favor. Wow! The cat found us bug spray? That's fantastic. This has been the greatest cat ever. I'm going to get a cat and name him Shakirov. This is amazing. All right. Everybody's really thirsty now, right? I'm going to give them the water that they need. 
Uh, I'm gonna give them water. Wait, did they say they're hungry too? I don't want them to die of hunger. They're hungry too. All right, we have a decent amount of cans of soup. I'm gonna give them soup and water. So they're eating like kings tonight, baby. If kings just drank bottles of water and cans of soup, but that's okay. A young singer approached our shelter this morning encumbered by two different guitars, a big backpack, and a weird contraption holding up a hair harmonica in front of his face. He asked for some supplies in exchange for a folk song or two. Do we want to share? Why? You know what? How much soup do we have? I'm gonna do it. I feel like maybe he's gonna give us something. I feel like he might give us something in return. Come on, singer. G what was that? Give us something good, singer. Give us something good, singer. Okay, Ted doesn't look very good. Did he give us water? Oh, he fixed our radio. He fixed our radio. What a nice guy. All right, so it seems like Ted is in the best condition out of all of them. So we're going to go over here. We're going to send Ted on the expedition and see how it goes. Crossing our fingers. This might be the last time we see Ted. Day 42, I think. Yep, so he's going to be gone. He's on the expedition. Oh my gosh. This is the worst Timmy's ever looked. And now I can't tell if he's staring at the flashlight or Shakir off the cat. I'm not sure, but this is really bad. Timmy should eat something. Dolores would love something to eat. And they both want water, but I'm out of water. So I'm going to give them both soup. You know what? Timmy kind of looks like he's in bad shape too. Uh, I'm going to give Timmy the, the med kit. Hopefully he'll get a little bit better because right now he looks like he's got the coronavirus right now. So hopefully the med kit will fix that. Let's move on to day 43. Hopefully Ted is back now. Hopefully Ted's back with supplies. Come on, Teddy boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Ted's still not back. That might be bad. Hey, but it looks like um uh, our Timmy's coronavirus is now gone. The agents who were spying on us are now outside our door and want to explain themselves. Should we hear them out? Why not? Like I said, at this point, I'm just taking any risks that could maybe give us water, but I have a feeling it's probably not going to give us water. No! Our mom died! Oh, son of a nutcracker. Well, Shakirov probably didn't like her because he still seems happy. Timmy is hanging on by a thread staring at that flashlight. Where's Ted? Oh, we can break into our neighbor's shelter. Yep. Go for it, Timmy. Try to steal as much water as we can. I don't care if you steal someone else's water. Achievement, the dark side. What? What? Why did it just skip days? Oh, no. Wait, Ted's back, but Timmy's gone. Oh, maybe that's like another expedition. Where is this blood coming from? Oh, no. And our, our wife is still dead, but you know what? Ted doesn't seem to really care. Oh, he found water, though. Look at that. Ted found water. Day 50. Ted still seems fine. Well, I mean, he doesn't exactly look fine, but he's still alive, and I'll take that as a positive. Apparently, there's agents at our door, and we might be able to live in a VIP bunker. Should we send someone out? Why not, Ted? Just go out there. Maybe we'll get a VIP bunker, or maybe we'll end up dead. I have no idea. Whoa. Day 59. Day 59. Ted is back, although he looks like he was beaten up. Oh, geez. That's not good. Ted left for the surface. We hope he's back. Uh, we graciously agreed to fulfill the request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised to be back with more information soon. Uh-oh. It says Ted's wounds are not a pretty sight, but I don't have a med kit left. I don't have a med kit left, so I can't heal him. Oh, I hope he doesn't die of the wounds. That would be a, a terrible way to go out. It says Ted is getting worse and worse. Either we do something about his wounds or he's done for, but I don't have anything to give him. You know what? You know what? I think I'm going to send Ted on an expedition and hopefully we'll find a med kit, but there's a very good chance he ends up dying. I have no idea. Okay, I'm going to give Ted water and soup and we're going to send him on an expedition. This might be the end, but I really... Oh, boy. Day 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Come back, Ted. He's still alive, but he looks really terrible. Okay, well, he got lots of water and soup, but it doesn't look like Ted found a med kit. Oh, Ted is absolutely done for. We are to generously provide either a couple soups or a couple bottles of water to the agent in the field. They'll take care of the delivery in return. We'll be given an encouraging pat on the back and a promise of a better future and a safe government. We're going to do it. We're going to do it because right now we have to hope that they give us a med kit. No! No, no. You perished. Guys, I made it 71 days. I'm going to end the video there. If you want to see more of this game, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscriber button, and follow me on Instagram. I have a link in the description. And I will see all of you in the next video.